Well, it has been a little while since we've heard anything about Blue Beetle. And when it comes to Warner Brothers Discovery and not hearing anything, it tends to be bad news. But this week's earning call gave us a little bit of a Blue Beetle update. And guys, it's actually good news. Let's take a couple minutes to talk about what David Zaslov had to say. Well, in case you didn't know it, this week was the Warner Brothers Discovery earnings call. And quite honestly, it probably was a painful call given how their stock's been doing in recent months. Since the acquisition, there has been a lot of pain at Warner Brothers Discovery. And us fans have felt that pain directly. We've seen a cancellation of several shows and movies, and many fans were wondering about the future of several projects. One of the projects many people were worried about was Blue Beetle. It originally started out as an HBO movie like Batgirl, and when Batgirl got clipped, Blue Beetle had just finished principal photography, leading many of us to fear that that movie would also meet the same fate. Now, during the earnings call, Zaslov actually talked a little bit about next year's slate of DC movies, and made it very, very clear. Blue Beetle will be released in theaters. This is the first time we've gotten any real news about Blue Beetle and some official confirmation from the big cheese at Warner Brothers Discovery that this movie wasn't clipped, it was moving forward, and it would indeed release next August. I find this to be really good news because the first bit of news came right after Principal Photography, which called into question how far the movie was in the process and how much money had already been spent. If they're continuing to work on this project, it's a great sign that the movie will indeed get released. It's in full-fledged post-production, and we are indeed going to see Sholo Manaduera take up the role of Jaime Reyes on the big screen. The Blue Beetle has been part of DC Comics for a really, really long time, but the Jaime Reyes version didn't appear until Infinite Crisis in 2006. He's actually a third person to hold the mantle. The first Blue Beetle was Dan Garrett and then Ted Kord, and he draws his power from the Scarab. The Scarab is bonded to Jaime's spine and gives him access to a litany of powers. These include metamorphosis into the armored version of the character, a whole litany of energy weapons including sound and pyrokinesis, flight, and the ability to even have macokinesis, which is to control machines. All of these powers should manifest on screen in a really creative and interesting way, and I can't wait to see what the cast and crew have done with this. Now, we have heard bits and pieces about the movie over the last couple of weeks, and almost all the feedback I've been hearing from people is very positive. There haven't been any test screenings yet that I've heard of, but they should be coming up soon, and this might finally give us an idea about how well this movie will do with fans and how much priority Warner Brothers Discovery is going to give it. It did have a relatively small budget, so if it gets a solid theatrical release, it could be a big profit point for Warner Brothers Discovery, and they definitely need that. Now, we're obviously going to keep covering everything Blue Beetle. Make sure you smash that like and subscribe button. I'm expecting trailers and stills really soon. You don't want to miss any of it. But until we know more, what do you guys think? How do you feel about some confirmation from David Zaslav himself that Blue Beetle will indeed hit theaters? And what are your expectations for this movie? I am really curious what many fans think. Make sure you sound off in the comments below. If you like this video, make sure you hit like, click subscribe, and if you don't ring that bell, you won't get any updates. Peace.